Hey everyone, meteorologist J.D. Rudd here with you on this Saturday. Happy Labor Day weekend. Thank you for taking time to check out the video blog on this Saturday. A few things to talk about as you kind of uh, kick around the grill and uh, enjoy some cold ones and just enjoy this nice weather too. Uh, know that we've got heat and humidity coming back in as we go through the next couple of days over this long holiday weekend. Also, we'll talk about the chance for uh, rain and thunderstorms trying to come back in as well. Looks like those will hold off till about the uh, middle part of the week. As always, got the handy dandy clipboard with my uh, numerical notes on there and then I'll show you a few uh, forecast model charts. I'll try to keep this one pretty short and sweet. I'm not going to touch too much on what's going on in the tropics right now, but I will say this. Uh, there are still some issues on the east coast with the leftovers of Hermine already killed at least two people from what I've read uh, so far today and it looks like that storm may intensify a little bit. So uh, again, if you have airplane travel issues or something like that, keep in mind uh, that could be tied into Hermine and then of course uh, what's going on with Lester over there off the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, if you know somebody who's there, double check on that stuff. I'm not going to spend too much time on it simply because we are so far away from those two things. I know it's weathery and it's geeky, but I, I just I don't have a lot of stuff to show you. And I know your time is precious for this holiday weekend. So let's jump right into it. What do you say? Uh, here's what we're talking about for us. The heat and humidity coming back here across our area. Temperatures in the 80s to near 90 over the next couple of days. I think it's going to stay dry by and large with that heat and the humidity and the wind also coming back too. If you want any kind of rain chance, as it looks right now, earliest shot would be perhaps Tuesday, maybe something isolated. Uh, something better, more organized may hold off until about Thursday of the week ahead. Uh, if you're making plans for tonight, the Royals are back in action. They need this game against the Tigers big time. This has not been good these last couple of games. Tonight, temperature's looking pretty good. We'll see if the Royals wind up looking pretty good as well. Uh, basically, here's how things look to take shape for us over the next couple of days. Here's tomorrow's uh, surface setup, as you can kind of see there. The wind a little more south to southeast, helping to pull that warmer air in here. Uh, I think we're right around average tomorrow, about 85 degrees, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Now, watch what happens, though. Labor Day Monday. See that more westerly component to the wind? That, just that in of itself, along with this cold front to the north, it's all going to help pinch that warm air right over our area for Monday. Also, the humidity coming back up as well. That means you're going to feel the humidity Labor Day Monday if you're out cooking. Uh, how does all that transcend into forecast model charts and things like that? Let me give you an idea here. This is, if I can get this to square itself up a little more, uh, dew points. We're going to look at dew points here as we go into this holiday weekend. Let's make sure you can see all that. I don't want to leave anything off the screen. Let's make sure. Hang on. Sorry. Just trying to get that all back in the area. Uh, so here you go. This is the dew points going through the uh, weekend here. This would be for later on this afternoon, which that looks to be valid. Dew points in the upper 50s. Now, Sunday, watch the dew points. Right around 60. Not bad. You might notice a little bit of humidity, especially if you're off around the Salina area. Now, watch what happens on Labor Day Monday. This is early in the morning. Already dew points are in the uh, 60s. By the afternoon Monday, look at that. Dew points coming back to be into the 70s. This would be about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. This would be 3 in the afternoon. So no doubt in the heat of the day on Monday, you're going to feel the humidity a little bit more. By the way, look at that dry air over there across portions of eastern Colorado could be temperature wise and feeling wise a beautiful day for them as we contend with that humidity it looks like things will drop a little bit maybe not so much uh tuesday still going to be humid as it seems there and then uh, as far as we get on the nam forecast model uh let's talk about the chance for uh, thunderstorms real quick again i don't want to take up too much of your time today uh here's the uh, energy in the atmosphere as we go through the next uh, few days. Uh, things are pretty calm and quiet. What I'd be watching for is any kind of uh, closely tied black lines through here, uh, areas of uh, height. Also watching for any kind of uh, what we call vertical velocity in this. Uh, go through Sunday, it's looking pretty good for our area. Nothing here stands out to me. Uh, even for Monday, that may get some attention. Maybe something tries to pop up somewhere to our north on Monday. I'm not really feeling it for across our area. Other dynamics just aren't coming into play. Uh, Tuesday, maybe Iowa has something going on, but then watch what happens Wednesday, I think it is. Yeah, Wednesday into Thursday, you'll start to notice a couple different things. Boom, look at all that energy right over our area. Early Thursday morning, and you kind of get that little kinking of the lines over the area too, so all this uh, mumbo-jumbo coming into play to uh, give us the chance 
for rain and thunderstorms, I really think Thursday into Friday as it stands right now. As always, that's still subject to change uh, depending upon how all this stuff might want to uh, play out. Looking at the uh, cartoons here from the Weather Prediction Center, let's get these uh, up and rolling on your screen. This would be for uh, Tuesday, cold front lurking off to the northwest. Here's how it may take shape on Wednesday. That front is still not here, so I'm not expecting much in the way of rain on Wednesday, but maybe something gets going ahead of that front across Iowa as we just kind of looked at there on the GFS model. And then there you go. By Thursday, the front slides into the area. That may be enough of a trigger at the surface. Energy going on aloft. Thunderstorms trying to uh, get rolling and shaking on Thursday and perhaps same thing late Friday as another front tries to work its way into the picture. So uh, seven day forecast here is what to expect based on all of that for you. If this uh, gets its bearings about it here this afternoon. Maybe it's still trying to shake off the earthquake. More on that in a second. There you go. We're going to forecast temperatures right around 90 for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That chance for thunderstorms coming in by Thursday and Friday. That's the other thing. I don't know about you. Big earthquake this morning. Uh, the aftershocks or some kind of effect from that was felt here in Kansas City. I didn't feel a thing. And I live close to the station. Nothing. Uh, meteorologist Jeff Pinner says some of the studio lights in here were shaking a little bit in the studio. So uh, I didn't feel a thing. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. Wild weekend, I will say that. That's about it for the video blog today. We'll keep things short and sweet, of course. we got our regular newscast today at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Uh, for Sunday, we have no 5 p.m. newscast, but I will do a video blog for you and a uh, web forecast as well. Otherwise, we'll see you late on Sunday night. Thank you again for watching the blog. Enjoy your Labor Day weekend and have fun with this weather.